So first we're going to look at the Fornarium. You may have seen them in my previous videos, uh, especially on my very first video because I get a lot of comments saying, oh it's too small for your gecko and everything. Well, I'm going to just show you this first. Um, this isn't what you usually see. My usual ones which are darker green on top, they are stored somewhere so I have to use this but the only difference really is the colour of the top, all inside is normal. Okay, ignore the dirt because I was using it in the summer for stuff and... Okay, so this dirt, one, but... this is a size I would say to use, if you can get any bigger, if you can store something a bit longer then that's fine. So this one says 46 centimetres by 30 centimetres by 15. Now this is ideal for a baby gecko if you're just doing your first setup and you don't want to buy a massive expensive vivarium you can get one of these. They're really easy to clean out. When you go to clean them all you do is um, you just tip it out. I probably just tipped all that dirt on my floor but yeah you just tip it out and you can normally fit it in a sink and just scrub it and it's absolutely perfect Also these are really that. cheap. Usually you can get them for about £12 maximum. I actually just found one on a reptile website for £6.95 I think. Um, it says it's for medium. Unfortunately they don't say the actual measurements for it. Um, but it looks about the same because you want to look for one that's got a big window here and a small window here. Some of the criticism I got about using it in my first video is um, Diego was actually living in it and out of all my geckos Diego is certainly the biggest. He's probably now about this big including his tail so it looked a lot smaller and I think his hides were really big as well so and I think the angle of the camera made it look so much smaller. But say if Ziggy, my little one, um, lived in here, it, it would look absolutely normal. So if you do have a type of gecko that gets quite big, because I know you can get certain uh, like extremely large ones that can get up to uh, over 100 grams, um, obviously go for a vivarium or a bigger tank. But yeah, you will notice, because he's got these little ventilation things here, they put their claws in there and they like to climb, which is great exercise for them. But yeah, this is definitely, if you want something cheap to start the, like, the set up for your baby leopard gecko, then go for this whilst you save for a vivarium or a bigger tank. Now, another option you can use is the wooden vivarium. These are a lot more secure, they keep in the heat and you can get them in different coloured like wood and everything so they can sort of fit the surrounding area. You usually get proper glass on the front. Some vivariums you actually see have glass on the sides and over there, you can do that if you like. But I think one thing that geckos do like is where it's um, wooden all around, it feels sort of more secure for them. Now the only downside with a vivarium is they can be quite expensive. This one I paid about 30 quid for because it was second hand, um, which is fine but as long as you've got like the disinfectant like I may have mentioned in the last video, you got that and you can full on clean it out. If you're buying new, you're sort of looking from 40 to 60 pounds I'd say that's just for this standard size now this size can house probably up to two adults um, remember only uh, put two females together that have known like have been together for a long time don't just randomly put them together never house males together and if you're going to breed don't just keep a female and a male in together all the time because that will cause so much stress and um, that just won't end well so do not don't put them together so this one is 15 inches which is 38 centimeters by 59 centimeters which is 24 yeah. inches 15 inches which is about 38 15 by 15 by 23 when it comes to cleaning what I usually do is remove these glass windows which usually just pop up and then they come out 
and I usually have to scoop out the dirt and it's definitely difficult when there's just small amounts because obviously as I said you can't just tip it out so you might have to get a dustpan and brush and sweep it up. Okay as I've never used one of these before and I don't have any to sh show you as an example I have to just use my computer here. Um, so another option you can use is an Exoterra full glass terrarium. Only problem with this, for example this this particular design is leopard geckos can't crawl up walls um, so having a high one won't be great it literally it's just wasting space um, what they really need is a lot of floor space I'm just gonna go down I don't know see this one's okay uh, but once again if there's a longer one so I'm just going down eBay this oh this is some stuff if you post it on eBay, you might see your stuff here. See that? That's just that's no good, really. Um, they're also much more expensive than a plastic one or a vivarium. For example, this one, which is twelve by twelve by eighteen inches, so smaller than a wooden vivarium. Buy it now. Sorry, if this is in focus. One hundred thirty-eight pound eighty-four. And seventeen pound twenty seven delivery. So yeah, don't be going for that. If you've got like maybe a crested gecko or something that crawls up walls, that'll be fine. But yeah, just um if you're going for a glass one, expect to pay more. Uh but certainly look out for one that's got lots of floor space because that's really what they need. So here we go, we've got some sizes going on with these glass ones and um 60 by 45 by 30 that's actually pretty much that's that's ideal because that's medium and low um and they're obviously you don't want tall and ones cut that, as I said, out pointless. in the back for wires and tubing that's another thing right um vivarium some of them don't have a hole in the back which you may need to put a hole in the back to put your wires through for your heat mat with the plastic tank i'd put it on the outside so stick it on the bottom and with that one obviously it's got the tubes in so possibly you put it inside but if anyone knows if they use glass do you put the heat heat mat inside the tank or on the outside so I've also found some other things I've also found this this is the vivarium I use and is in the video on how to put it together this is on swale reptiles sorry if it goes out of focus and this it's the exact same size I use and it's only £40 which is pretty good pretty good I also have a review on that um, but so far you know it's it's doing well also a little side note you will have to buy uh, door handles like the ones you stick on yourself because they don't actually come with this um, I got mine from eBay and they were sort of inexpensive so that's okay and for the Exoterra Hornarium. This is the one I saw. Oh, it was six seventy-five. I think I said six ninety-five at the start, but six seventy-five. It says it's medium. I can't remember the actual measurements because for some reason they're not on this website, which isn't helpful. But it's got the two windows at the top, which is usually good. And this website is petmeds.co.uk. I hope this has helped, and you can find links to these websites in the description below and if you if you have any other like sort of suggestions for housing uh comment below i know some people especially if they breed a lot they put them in like tupperware boxes and stuff yeah like on a, personally i i couldn't do that it, it just seems really cruel but yeah these are the three best options i think